Hello, and welcome to Breaking It All Down, uh, let's play of Remember Me. And we're going to beat up a really self-righteous, pretentious jerk bag. Okay, so this guy can only be beaten with sense and combos. Other uh, espresso and combos. So what you have to do is you have to build up enough focus to let to start the combo, and use your recharge meter to build it up. And then, see now we have actually a guard break. His guard breaks, and you can start dealing damage to him. And it's the whole thing is divided into segments, and so forth and so on. Okay. On his life bar. So. So here's my complaint with with Kid Christmas in the game. He is the point where the game really runs into. Oh, that hurt. It goes into narrative problems. As a character. Because Kid Christmas models his persona off of pro wrestling characters. Which, which is fine. He's going for a larger than life television personality. And he's doing a, building a reality television program basically around himself. So it makes sense for him to sort of build up this excessive, massive personality because he want uh, because he wants people to watch his show that said there's the um, discussion about villains in, in works of fiction and stuff that good villains consider themselves the heroes of their own story the problem is is kid Christmas builds his persona like that of a heel um, has this really mercenary attitude where he doesn't feel like he's doing this for the greater good or for anything like that. He's doing it. He's just doing it for the money. And most most faces, generally, it's they're, they're, the reason they do what they do is because they're doing out their own code of ethics. Even if they're not doing it for the sake of the WWE universe or to make the world a better place or anything like that, they have their own ethical reasons for doing it. They're not just doing it for a paycheck. When Steve Austin was a face and going on taking on Vince McMahon, his reason for doing it was because Vince McMahon rubbed him the wrong way, and he didn't like the way Vince McMahon ran WWE. And so it was his taking on McMahon was his form of rebellion, and so that's what led the audience to appeal for that character. For Tommy Dreamer, while he's somewhat anti-heroic, is well, he, he, he's a clean-cut hero, but he engages in very violent actions because he's in, in a hardcore wrestling promotion. He, he is still he, he's probably the closest DCW had to a Boy Scout hero because he was did what he did out of loyalty to ECW fans. Kid Christmas, he does what he does for the money. He's when. When Lillian makes arguments related to politics, the response is, oh, politics is so last century. Oh, this fight's, this last stage is particularly hard because of the minds we have in the arena. They, they, they limit a lot of where you can go. You can kind of roll out of the way in time, but only if you enter at the very edge. So, that, so a, a good tactic here you have to kind of like step just into the edge of the, the trigger area and quickly roll out of the way if possible. Alright, until your sense and meters recharge, at which point you pound the snot of the guy. But even then, you gotta be careful because if your combo takes you into the circle, it's an. yeah, as you just saw, it was an automatic hit. And then you still have to wait a whole minute for the uh, combo, for the move to recharge. And there's a lot less opportunities to hit him here. Anyway, so Kid Christmas's persona is very much that of a heel. He's the bad guy. He knows he's the bad guy. Um, 
Um, he, and because of that, it feels off. I mean, admittedly, I'm not too familiar with some of the more pragmatic sort of face characters in pro wrestling. Um, but like, I haven't seen that much of Razor Ramon's face run in WWE in the early 90s. That was a character that was kind of blatantly based on Scarface. The point that his catchphrase is taken from Tony Montana. But still... It's kind of... Yeah, it's... It, it, it does just kind of just make work for me, this character. And by, just because, by it doesn't work with me, I mean... I'm perfectly willing to beat the stuffing out of this guy. And it's really satisfying to do that. But... Narratively, it's a misstep. Other than that, I like this boss fight. I like the first two stages of it. I think the the last stage is interesting. I wish that the way the fighting combat system was set up worked to, uh, worked in the fashion where the area denial wasn't as much of a crippling thing, since you can't quite turtle to evade attacks in the same way like, say, Batman can in Arkham City and the other Arkham games. Oh, almost got him. Here, uh, yeah, there, I'm, 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 yeah, like, this fight basically requires, basically, in order to succeed, it really depends on your ability to trigger the mines without getting hit by the mines. I think it probably would have made things easier is if Kid Christmas is, uh, could also be affected by the mines, or something, just, just, or he could use his force fields against him, something, something that let players who are savvy use his own combat techniques against him, I guess. There we go. And this combo will finish him off. Quick time event! Wonderful. Nice to turn his taunts against him. No, not here. Not my fans. You know, it might almost mean doing it this way would mean something if there was a really could choose no to let him go. But honestly, I, ha I, I can't not overload him to proceed. I'm still the fact that I'm still on camera while I'm doing this. Another thing I gotta say for this is I like that. Grâce au code que tu m'as envoyé, la contre-attaque erroriste débutera dans quelques minutes. Profite de la confusion pour rejoindre discrètement le Slum 404. Alrighty. So I like the fact that in addition to beating to the satisfaction of beating up this utterly loathsome jerk sellout jerk, um we also we have the symbol of that that 
the face of authority is this very big, tough, masculine figure. Title drop, and the underdog, and the voice of resistance is more feminine. And this is about as good time as any to uh, take a break. And next time, we return to the slums. <laughs>